In Level Up we have so many different things. Not only TVs, not only consoles, but uh, all kinds of objects. Like uh, old school audio equipment, vintage vacuum cleaners. It's getting really hard to maintain organized look on our shelves. Because each day we're getting more and more different equipment from our friends. It's great to know that uh, people are willing to share with us those objects that are valuable to them mentally. And when I was thinking about this, uh, sitting late in the evening uh, in the museum, when everything was turned off, and uh, when it's turned off, this place is totally different. It's so quiet there. I would say it's relaxing if you're not getting paranoid that uh, someone is looking at you from the dark. So I was sitting there and I was thinking that people are giving us those inanimate objects that they're feeling empathy for. It's very interesting to think about this topic, that we as a human species can have empathy for a chair, for a carpet, for a piece of furniture, for a plastic box that can play games. They invoke um, warm feelings inside of, uh, of us. And our space, our museum is full of those special things, special objects that are special for only specific people. But when all of those objects are in one space, this uh, makes our museum very valuable. Because many people, most of the people coming to the museum can find those objects that are connected with them somehow from their childhood, from their life. They invoke inside of the people warm feelings of happier times. Maybe their grandmother had the same chair or carpet. Or maybe they had one of the posters from Grand Theft Auto game. And we have this in our museum. It's a great uh, thing that this space and uh, this place as whole invoke positivity positive emotions and uh, in the museum we built this kind of diorama so what's a diorama diorama is a usually full-size replica or scale model of uh, some kind of event from history scene of nature or cityscape but here in the museum we have a diorama of a living space living room that uh, someone might had in their life. Of course, it's not perfect. You can see that it's just a painting. It's a replica. It's not a real living space, but still it invokes those feelings, special feelings of old flat, maybe. You're coming to the place that feels lived in, that have those special objects that may have a connection with you. It's a very strange and unique topic. But I really wanted to touch this topic at least a bit. And uh, I had a talk uh, with my partner, Camille Larelli, and uh, he agreed that this uh, theme is interesting. And uh, he added his thoughts. And, uh, and we decided that uh, it's valuable to at least make this video to talk about this uh, interesting topic because it's not really touched so much. Those video game consoles, they're usually connected with positive emotions. They have so much positivity in them. Automatically, each of those consoles were bought to play games, to have fun with friends, with family, alone. Most of them were bought for children, maybe on Christmas. And uh, this is the best time of our lives, childhood. So those consoles are connected with the best time of our life, when the life was easier, when it was colorful, when the world was ginormous, and in the museum we collect all those artifacts of the past and modern consoles. So it's great uh, to work in such place that has those uh, kind of objects that automatically are making people happier. And I truly believe that uh, this uh, simple concept makes this place needed and uh, valuable for people 
and maybe a country itself because almost everyone who came uh, here they left happy they left with positive emotions and that's the most valuable thing for us so that's all for today and goodbye we'll meet again with some other crazy crazy topics